What's going on guys, SHOT Show 2024 here at the Palmetto State Armory booth. You guys have all been seeing, I figure the first thing we should start with, dive right into it. My God, finally, yeah. <laughs> somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're Justin, here. please take it away, man. Yeah, we're here with the new X57. Uh, like I said, this one's a concept. Um, so for those of you that don't know, we're at, we have a lot of concepts at SHOT Show. It's a voting process, so we're asking people to go to the website and vote. Uh, PalmettoStateArmory.com slash SHOT Show 2024. Uh, cast your vote, this guy's winning right now. Right. Uh, with that out of the way, let's just get into this and uh, go over all the ins and outs of it. So, like you say, this is our new 5.7 PDW. It looks like something a lot of people have always wanted, but have never had the option to really get. Uh, we'll start in the rear here. We're gonna be partnering with SB Tactical on this brace. Um, we'll have stock kits as well for those people that want to SBR it, so they'll have that option. Um, this is this guy's spring-loaded and retractable, um, just like some other guns out on the market. Um, you can see here, AR-15 charging handle. Um, this one's actually a Radian, okay. and that's what it'll ship with. Um, it's also gonna ship with the Inbus Pro iron sights. Um, up top, you got the full Picatinny for all your optics and lasers and stuff. Um, down here, 40 round mag. Uh, this is compatible with our rock magazine. Okay, so. awesome. This is gonna share a lot of things with the rock platform, like a trigger, extractor, ejector. There's a couple differences, but. I'm very um, excited to hear this, the trigger, because it's one of my favorite triggers. Yeah, yeah, so we're working on some aftermarket triggers already for this too. Um, but it, it is that lever delay system that's the same as the rock pistol. Okay. So um, super liable, something we've already been doing for a while. Um, then up here, we've got a, a rear and muzzle, muzzle device. So um, some suppressor compatibility there, but it's also a threaded barrel um, in case that doesn't work for whatever case. We work very closely with Reardon, love their stuff, yeah. love taper. Yeah, so again, this is the X57. Um, it's a concept gun. Now, we know what price we're shooting for. We're shooting for the 999 price point. Oh, way. Uh, but it is a concept, so that could change a little bit. Okay. Uh, that's that's where we're trying to be on this. I mean, with the fact that you guys, that's who you're aiming for, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so um, like I said, no timeline. I mean, we're pro it's probably not going to come this year, to be honest. Gotcha. It's, okay. It's a ways out, but um, it's, it's a, definitely a project we're excited to start. And based on the voting, it looks like we're going to be throwing as many resources as we can at it to get it here quick. Sweet, man. Yeah, so with that, with the X57 done, um, let's go check out some of the other stuff we got in the booth. Okay. Yeah, so again, these are gonna be concept guns, so same idea as the other one. Um, this one is something that we've pretty much got requests for since we announced the Jackal project, but it's a 308 Jackal. Um, so it shares a lot of the same characteristics as the 556. So um, starting down low, it's uh, compatible with our PA-10 lowers, so any of our AR-10s, um, you just need the adapter in the rear. Now, we'll, we'll also make a proprietary lower, so you can clean that up a little bit. You don't have to worry about the, the using the adapter or whatever, so it'll just be one solid piece of metal. Um, down low, you got AR-15 pistol grips, um, triggers, safeties, and mag releases, so tons of options already on the aftermarket. Then going up top is where a lot of the magic happens with the Jackal platform. Um, it's got that same monolithic rail that everybody loves on the Jackal uh, with the non-reciprocating charging handle as well, and it's uh, ambidextrous too. Um, I'll hand it over to you here in a second, but um, something really cool on this is the rail. Um, it's the same size as the 556 gun, so instead of having that big chunky um, 308 rail that a lot of piston guns have, it's gotcha. just really small and compact, okay. and more comfortable, easier to get a good grip on. So it's going to be super familiar. Yep. Um, and then in the front, the same eight position gas block that everybody likes on the Jackal because you can get your suppressors nice and tuned. Yep. Um, same idea as the standard Jackal. We'll have tons of suppressor options. Cool. Uh, partnering with JMAC on that. They're a good partner of ours. Cool. And they, they help us make all kinds of cool stuff. So dead air on this one, uh, but we'll have Salinger Co., AAC, um, probably Huxworks in the future too. Um, and then, like I say, 13.7 um, options, 14.5, 16 inch, um, 18 as well. And then eventually, uh, uh, we'll take this project over to 65 Creedmoor as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So that's something we're doing. Uh, 308 at first, and then hopefully down the road we'll get into 65 Creedmoor. You guys have been asking for the uh, heavy calibers. There you go. Yeah. That's kind of your guys' thing. You just, hey, listen to the customers. Yeah, it's it's something that I don't know why it doesn't happen more, but it's something we've really leaned into, and it, it seems to be Sweet. working for us. Cool. Um, and then we can go into... The Vuk here. So the Vuk is kind of an AK Jackal hybrid. Um, it's what we consider like the true modernization of the AK, and it gives you a lot of um, upgrades over a traditional AK. So we use our KS-47 style lower. I don't know if you've played with the KS at all, but it's an AR that takes AK mags. So this one will launch with 5.56 um, on the 101 mags, and then we can go into 7.62, 300 black, 5.45. Uh, talking about maybe doing a 12 gauge on this, we're going to see where the 
perception is on that, but we think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, so unlike an AK, you get AR pistol grips, AR triggers, which a lot of people like better than the AK trigger, um, and AR safety. So that's that's pretty cool in an AK platform. And then up top, like I said, same uh, features as the upper uh, of the 308. We just went over with the monolithic rail and the charging handle and everything. But this one gets dedicated AK irons um, in, the, in the rear and in the front. Um, adjustable gas block on an AK style rifle. Hey. Don't see it very often. Um, and then up front, we're partnering with JMAC again for the AK-19 style muzzle device. Uh, this one's dead air. We'll have every other flavor as well, though. You okay. know how we do it. Um, but yeah, so like I say, this is the Vuk. Uh, again, it's a concept gun. So if you guys are interested in this, then be sure to give it a vote so we know you want to gotcha. see it. Okay. Um, but yeah, that, that's been the Vuk. Um, and you can tell that's kind of inspired by the AK-521 there. Gotcha. Um, we just thought that was really cool and something Kalashnikov concerned it back in the day that we wanted to kind of mimic. This feels good. Yeah. I haven't shot AK in a while. Uh, I think my last AK video was actually the AKV. Sure. And yeah. then I SPR'd it <laughs> and then yeah. did another one. Um, that is one of my favorites. Like, just it's super easy to shoot because of yeah. how fast I can just run that trigger on it. But yeah, this might be uh, what we have to do. If this, if you guys vote on this, it becomes live. Let us know down below if you want to see this on the channel and bring back some AK content to the channel as well. Yeah. And then we can move over here to something that is uh, creating quite a bit of buzz at the show. Um, that's the old can. So the old can is kind of a, um, a way to make a jackal into a bullpup. Um, almost since BSA was founded, we've been getting asked, like, can y'all please make a bullpup? Um, so we're finally doing it. Um, we're doing it off the jackal platform. So all the magic here happens in the lower receiver. Um, everything up top is purely jackal. Any jackal upper that we've made up to now will be compatible with it. Gotcha. Okay. So your 8.5s, your 10.5s, um, SBR laws are going to come into play, obviously, but I got a 14.5 here, and with that end, it's a, it's a legal rifle, so gotcha. um, no tax stamp or anything there. Uh, in the lower, um, we, we use the AR pistol grips just because they're familiar with everybody, um, and an AR style safety. Obviously, the trigger's a little different, um, but it is, for a bullpup, it's not bad. It's, it's about it like a GI AR trigger, so. Okay. Yeah, um, they ask you. No. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um, definitely not a competition AR trigger, but pretty good for a bullpup. Uh, in the rear, you got an ambidextrous mag release, and then the bolt catch is going to be located on the left side of the gun here. Okay. So, here in stock. So it's, it's pretty right-handed friendly. Um, that's just kind of the nature of pull-pups a lot of the time. Um, I'm not going to say it's out of the question that we do uh, lefty models, but that would be a ways down the road. Sure. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's the old can. Again, this guy is a um, is a concept. Uh, it's getting a lot of attention though. I think um, I think it's going to be a really popular offering for us. It's really that bullpup option for the guy that's kind of like bullpup curious. He doesn't sure. know that he wants to spend two grand, but he's already got a jackal, so why not the buy the memes lower? that we're going to get from bullpup curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the old can. Like I said, concept gun. So go and give it a vote if it's what you want to see. Sweet man. And now I know the last thing you guys got going on, you're doing the Saber pistol line now. Saber pistol line, yeah, right, we're super excited about let's, that. Let's check those out. So now we're down here with our new Saber pistol line. Uh, this is something really exciting we're doing. Uh, the easiest way to compare it is there's a lot of companies out there that take um, other platforms and upgrade everything on them and then sell them as their own. We're doing that, but just in-house. So we've partnered with a couple of different companies here to make this um, happen. Uh, Zephyr Precision being the main one, so we're going to be partnering with them for slides and barrels. Uh, with that, you, we're going to have a ton of ported options, just like this one is. Um, you can see this guy is stippled from the factory. Um, all of these are going to come in that duty size, so think um, your 17 round grip with your 4.2 inch barrel. Okay. Um, we'll have threaded and non-threaded options um, from the beginning. We're doing a, a enlarged mag well down here, so you can get the mag in easier. Um, five round extensions are going to come from the factory on these. Okay. Um, so you'll get two five round extensions and then a mag that doesn't have an extension as well. Um, you'll also get a pretty nice carry case to go along with it. Um, the other thing, all these are going to be RMR cut, and they're all going to come with an upgraded trigger from the factory. Awesome. Yeah, an upgraded mag. You had me when you said trigger. ported, man. Yeah, ported yeah. The factory is great. Yeah, so these are going to be well under $1,000, um, so super great value for what you're spending. Uh, we're hoping to be in that 700 range on these. So kind of go over the frame, because when we, guys, if you're looking at this in the B-roll up close, uh, it looks metal. Yeah, it's not. No, it's, it's polymer. It's got a really nice stipple job on it. All of them are going to come with the stippling from the factory. Um, the other thing we will be doing 
doing is a Cerakote on some of them. Cool. So you'll have two options there. The Cerakote will up the price a little bit, but um, still going to be super affordable and super reasonable. Awesome, man. So, guys, tons of new stuff coming from PSA. Um, I mean, if you're not getting their daily emails, you're definitely missing out. I think yeah. during this week, I ordered the, so I ordered the one that's got the ports out in front. Yeah. And then I also, like I said, got the M110A1 coming. So, yeah. guys, the deals that they have, I mean, sign up, purchase some stuff. Yeah. Let us know down below in the comments what you saw from today's video that you're like, oh my gosh, you got to have that. Make sure you go vote on their website. Justin, man, I appreciate yeah. you taking the time. Thank you, guys. Thank you.